good morning guys welcome to today's video it's 8 a.m and we are headed outside i'm so excited to start today i don't know why i'm just excited i woke up that way before we go out i want to show you guys something you guys know that when you order from amazon you end up with this and more we have way more <laughs> boxes than this but anyway i have a use for almost all of these boxes but when you need a giant box like this i forget even what sam ordered in this sam ordered it and when you get a giant box like this, you're like, what the heck am I gonna do with this? And so every time I walk by it, I keep thinking, I need to get rid of that. I need to tear it down, recycle it, or burn it. But something keeps telling me I'm gonna need it. Something keeps telling me to save it. And I've learned to listen to my instincts, you guys. I've learned to pay attention to my instincts in the biggest way because I've found that that's how God speaks to me. That's one of the ways that God speaks to me is through your instincts. He puts thoughts inside your head, feelings inside your heart, to guide you on the right path. So we're gonna watch and wait together and see if something happens that makes me need to use that big box. Why do you leave without me? Hey, why do you do that? Why do you leave? Oh my gosh, it's a blizzard. I am not the kind of person to waste all that wrapping paper on a huge box if I don't need it. So there has to be a present that's super special. <laughs> it will take a big box like that. God, don't prove me wrong. <laughs> First act of this morning is a new round bale for the horses. I definitely want to do a round bale for the goats. So we think he's going to get stuck. I thought you were going to put wood down. Yeah, I got wood. Put wood down, make a path, make a trail. Sophie still has her party hair on. <laughs> anyway, welcome to today's video. Let's get going and see what kind of adventures God brings us to today. Long ago I explained to you guys when we first started our channel about how I didn't like horses because all I felt from horses was sadness and like a deadness inside. Like I hadn't been exposed to many horses but the ones that I had been exposed to were not like friendly, happy, outgoing horses. They were like sad and down and depressed kind of horses goats are peeing in front of me one thing I one big thing I've discovered on this journey of ours come on out because I know you're gonna climb the thing that I've learned on this journey the one big thing I've learned is that animals that are loved and cared for and spent time with become those kind of animals every one of our goats is like a puppy dog <laughs> They are honestly so sweet and so loving and they want to spend time with us. Even our horses. When I let the goats out this morning, they all just stood there and looked at me like, what? <laughs> I want to stay in here with you. And they all do want to stay in here with us. They want to stay in the barn and be with us. Our horses are the same. They want food and they want love. Those are the two things that they really, really, that I've noticed that they really, really want. Food and love. And I see a lot of comments on our channel that say if you're not riding your horse or doing something with your horse physically, like training it, lunging it, then you're wasting your horse's potential and that you're doing a disservice to your horse. One thing I've learned is that our horses want to be with us and spend time with us and they want to be doing things other than just work. I firmly believe that animals are so much more than what they can do for you. They're so much more than riding and they're so much more than training. They're so much more to having animals than what they can do for you. For me and for our family, animals are about love and attention and spending time together. And it's been years now that we've actually had farm animals and still to this day, I stop and smell the roses every time I let the, the animals out, every time I put them back into bed and multiple times throughout the day. We, Sophie and I just stand and stare and watch because there's just so much beauty in animals. But this little guy <laughs> gets no love. <laughs> the, all the rest of the herd are out there. Oh, here they come. And they all are pushing him out right now. He's the not one, he's the not accepted one in the herd. So he's trying to get his food going before anybody comes and pushes him off. And here's Ellie, ready to protect me. <laughs> Or she's hiding behind me. <laughs> she's very brave. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie. She calls them on and then hides behind me. So 
The other day I showed you that our female Pekin duck tried to mate with our dog. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> Who knew that that could happen? But we did a lot more research just to verify that she is actually a girl and she is actually a girl. And he is, I'm pretty sure, he's definitely a boy. <laughs> and I think she's reached peak maturity <laughs> based on her newfound attitude the last few days. Like this is what go ducks do when they want to be mated with. This is, <laughs> this is, they float like this. <laughs> Water. We need to get a boy duck. Show us the eggs. I better check for eggs. How come she has no eggs, but she's doing all this crazy stuff? <laughs> she's definitely. Uh oh. thing going on here. <laughs> Ellie, it's not your pool. Hello. <laughs> See, they follow me around. They're like, what can we do now? Whew, how was getting the hay bale in? Sliding everywhere. Sliding everywhere? Put the wood there, but we still kind of like slid off the wood and stuff. Oh. We need to put gravel in that, that section. All right, well, let's do it. Gravel. Gravel. You think we have time before Christmas? No. I had so much trouble with Sylvie. The goats hate me. Oh, Lola loves me and Blossom. Yeah, they hate me. They will not stay out of the barn. They just kept getting in the barn every five seconds. They kept getting in the barn. That's and why then you I use your feet as a divider between the door while you have time to shut the door. <laughs> Trust me, it was hard. And guess what? The duck is in, <laughs> in heat, but ducks don't go into heat, but she's sexually mature. Honey, come here. Hi, she babies. She's not a fan of the mud. She hates mud. She was standing just outside the mud with her ears pinned. Yeah, I don't blame her. Honey. Mud is awful. So it's not like hand. boots. No, she tried to. So when ducks are sexually mature, physically mature, I guess is the right word. They the mud is not bad at all. It's not like your feet are sinking or anything. It's just that we have some now. It, it's muddy here. Not yeah. Over there. Yeah. Hey, sweet girl. I wanted to say hi. Good morning. Storm's like I want to say hi. The good morning too. Okay, you're getting brushed today. You're both, all of them are getting brushed. Uh, I want us to get out of here, like... Wow, you guys are friends now? What the heck? I never see that. Look at, she's got doe eyes. Then she pinned her ear, e ears. The goats are seriously out of control. At one point, I was in the feed room, and Molly came running into the feed room and hid behind my legs. I'm like, the goats are in the barn, aren't they? <laughs> Like they are out of control. And the reason Ruby keeps getting locked in the barn is because she's afraid to come out the door because the goats are out there. So definitely horses are a little more user friendly. Every day we have this much excitement. Every day we have this much excitement before we do school. Like that's cool. <laughs> like we get to look at all the babies. Look at penguin. She's such a cute hard rock. Uh, they're all so cute. That's the girl. Do you think that other one's going to be a barred rock? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what one? No, that's the only barred rock. You see, she's already showing barred rock. Yeah, I'll show you guys Wait. what a barred rock looks like. Yeah, that's the other one. Huh. Does it, do you think that one's going to be a barred rock? It looks like it. Maybe. 
Look, it's for sure gonna be a bard rock. Are you a girl? Yep. Yes. I think it's a girl. So that's the bard rock. That's what our cute little penguin is gonna look like. But with a white face. But with a white face. There are already some eggs this morning. Blue? <sighs> yep, a blue one every other day so far. She just started laying. Hey. I didn't ask for that. He just pecked my foot. I'm afraid to move. Because as soon as I move, he's calling me on. If I just ignore him, he gets better. I have like weapons. I could throw these at him. Don't throw them. <laughs> Don't ruin them. Mmm, it smells so good. I love it. Oh, look it. They have a, they have that one doesn't smell as good. They're monogram candles. S. There's an S. Anyway. So we are at the craft store because Sophie is a crafter now. That's cute. These are all so cute. Love that. Look at how nice. They're so cute, but I love that donut one. It's really cute. Designer. So last year was all about glue and making slime. This year it's all about yarn. This is so nice. I love these colors. I love these colors. $10 for a ball of wool. So for this year for Christmas, Sophie wants yarn and crochet stuff. She's been doing it every single day. She's actually really good at it now. You like that one? So I'm letting her show me what kind of yarn she wants for Christmas. You want those? I think this stuff is nicer. Isn't that so cute? Or even that one. Or even this. This would be such a nice baby blanket. It is freezing. So cold out now. It's the weather changes so fast, but I'm not complaining because <laughs> it's never this warm in December ever. Oh, Stormy. You got your girl. Look at him. He just follows her wherever she says to come. Follow me, she says. Woo! You gotta brush Gracie too. And then this one, oh my gosh, we need to get her a new blanket. This one just follows her owner. <laughs> I didn't even have to call her. Come on, Ellie. Hi, baby. <laughs> Wait, I gotta get your halter. That was dumb of me. What a sweet girl. I think they all think they're coming in for dinner, but it's not dinner time yet. Oh my goodness. You guys got so dirty. Oh. We just want to give you a brush. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's what happened to me too. My brushes were all in the trailer. Oh, Gabby, you just stole my brushes. All right, come on in, little princess. We're just gonna... <laughs> Storm's just exploring. I noticed today that our horses be needing some brushing. So we're gonna... And I wanted to tell you guys what I decided. You guys know we're looking for two horses. And it's almost Christmas and I'm definitely the kind of person that wants to buy a horse for my kids for Christmas. I want to surprise them and make it so special. And but then I put so much pressure on myself to try and find the perfect horse before Christmas and I was looking so hard. And then I shared a little bit about it with you guys and you guys helped me see how important it is to take time and so I decided what I want to do about our new horses. So, essentially, I think I'm just going to keep searching and keep trying horses. We, we're only going to show you guys horses that we try, that we know the people, or horses that we end up buying. We're not going to show you, like, the whole trying journey. Oh, look, she's brushing him without even having him tied up. Wow, look at that. Dude, now you're stepping on this. His hair is all flattened down. Good boy. Anyways, so that's our plan. I'm not going to pressure myself to get them a new horse for Christmas and then make a mistake and get the wrong horse. 
if that makes sense. <laughs> Storm's like, I want, a I want a brother. I need a friend. So if it naturally happens before Christmas, then I'm in. But I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure on myself. I'm gonna wait and let it unfold naturally. I have so much anxiety about getting the right horse for us that I just feel overwhelmed sometimes. <laughs> I believe God will bring us the right horses when we're meant to have them and I just I need to like settle down and let it all happen. So Sophie's probably freezing with her bare feet, but she is doing all the main stuff. So one thing you guys don't know, tail is, shorter than normal it is it? Let's, so what's really weird though, is that my kids, you know how I always complain or sometimes complain about how like I do, I manage the herd. Like I'm the one that's the keeper of all the information. Yeah, but you can't. <laughs> you don't let me. I don't recall Gracie ever having a bad mane. I can recall you being a younger girl, like 11, and cutting your horse's mane. That okay, horse. That wasn't as bad. Because her mane doesn't stand out that much. Anyways, what I was going to say, but listen, what I was going to say is that I often complain that I'm the keeper of all the information. <laughs> Storm finally walked away. He's like, I'm done with this. But what I was going to say was that even though I'm the keeper of all the information, my girls and Sam do things that I don't do. Like they keep... Yeah, you were riding you horses. horses. You were I was terrified. I didn't like horses. It's true. And you were riding before. But what I wanted to say was that... My girls have never let me cut a tail, my horse's tail, ever in the history of the world. And then Sophie said to me yesterday, your tail needs her, your horse needs her tail cut. And I'm like, well, do it for me. And she's like, no, do it yourself. So, so today is the day that I am going to cut my horse's tail. For the first time ever. My All right, so my penny is mostly brushed. She definitely was in heat this past week. She's still following Storm around. This is what you call a blanket brush, she says. Yeah. She's brooming her horse. Their muddy. Yeah, and a hoof broom when their hooves are muddy. That. Let me try it on my horse. Do you know what's weird though? Do you know what's weird though? When it comes to like working with horses, Gabby is the fastest that she ever is. When it comes to working with horses, horses, Sophie's always the one that's slow. Okay, well, do you want her to ugly or cutting your hair? Cutting their hair is how they perfect it. How they get better at it is by practicing their own horse. So. All right, let me broom Penny. Yeah. There's her mane. It's zigzaggy at the bottom. It's just like Brandon. Mm -hmm. I'd be done if I didn't have to wait for the broom or wait for the scissors. You look like you 
got a bowl cut. She did get a bowl cut. How do you even know about a bowl cut? You put a bowl on your head and you cut your hair. You've never had a bowl cut. See how Penny is with this broom. I'm gonna get you some treats. Okay. Okay. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Can I sweep your feet? Yeah. Good girl. Can I sweep your back feet? Yeah, I can't do this. Okay. Good girl, yeah. Good girl. What a good girl. This actually works phenomenal. These scissors suck. I know. That works so good. Look, it's time for Laura to cut her very first ever Main, I mean tail. Tail, you cut your horse's tail before. I've never cut my horse's tail before. Yeah. I wanted, oh God. <laughs> what do you mean, oh God? Cut it longer than you want, Mom. It's perfect. That's long. Still long? Yeah. I didn't tell there was other. Yeah, that's where I cut it. That's how I learned. But cut it to their feathers. Is that good? Yeah. Hold on for a minute. There's her mane. Oh, it looks so cute. All right. I did it. When Penny's in heat, I put cream on her because she pees all down her leg. So that's what you see is some cream. It's so cute. It's so cute. She looks younger. You look 10 years younger. Look at her tail. It's not that bad. And her tail. So if you wanted to do her tail a little shorter this time. Like a lot shorter this time. Cuter. Cute. Cute. Because it was like all the parts that I chopped off her, her tail was mud. Yeah. It, we have mud now. Not like so much mud, but enough mud. It's only around the hay. What do you guys do for mud around your hay bales? I've seen a lot of, I've been researching it, and a lot of people say that they put mats, like these mats, but I'm worried that they would be slippery. But... I feel like some mats are more slippery than others, so we might end up trying that, putting mats around them. But what do you put? Sam wants to do gravel. I'm thinking mats. What do you guys do for mud around your hay bale? All right, so we got Gracie now. Gabby's gonna do her. Oh, and we have honey. Just wait, how much are you taking off? For her bridal path. They look cuter. Oh, I wanted to do Penny's bridal path. So we're gonna bring everybody in, take care of chores for, for dad, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you, hopefully you guys understand about my plans for getting a new horse. I'm just gonna let it happen Honey. naturally and not try and rush it and not try and control it. I'm just gonna let God lead me. Don't you know that you're beautiful?